Hi, I'm Phil Brock. This is Brock and your block, and today we're at a brand new, well, old house in Santa Monica. We're at the Shotgun House, which is going to become the Preservation Resource Center, and today we're going to be talking with Carol Lemline, the president of the Santa Monica Conservancy. So I'm with Carol Lemline, and you're the president of the Santa Monica Conservancy. And tell me about this house that we're in right now. Well, this shotgun house. What's a shotgun house? A shotgun house is a small building with no halls. It's typically two or three or four rooms in a row, straight through, so that one theory of how it got named is that you could actually shoot a gun through the house and have it go out the back door window. So the NRA would love this. In Santa Monica, <laughs> we wouldn't like it quite as much. <laughs> the original boards of the house, and they were one inch thick. They typically had wallpaper applied, maybe over some very thin layer um, directly on the boards, and many layers of wallpaper were found in this house. So now there was no insulation? No insulation. Nothing like that? No, and of course This was, was just almost like a Sears Roebuck catalog house. Uh, and some of them were, although oh, okay. we have no evidence that this one was. And this was built? Uh, probably in the late, in the 1890s. And where was it originally located? Because I know it's been moved here. Yes, well, it's been moved several times. Yeah, I know there was a long odyssey <laughs> to get it here. But it was originally, as far as we know, two blocks down the street, facing in the same direction. Uh, but that's where it was located, and it was occupied until 1996 by oh. renters. And, and just so everyone knows, we are on 2nd and Norman, so we're one block north of Ocean Park Boulevard, just east of Main Street, and that's where this Preservation Resource Center will be located forevermore in Santa Monica. Yes, and grand opening for the public on Saturday, January 23rd at 11 a.m. And that's rain or shine? Uh, well, uh, we do have a contingency <laughs> for rain because obviously we're hoping it will be attended by more of the public than we could possibly fit in the house. Right. And tell me, what is a Preservation Resource Center? And I'm looking uh, behind your left shoulder right now and I see this plaque that tells us all the contributions of time, money, materials, and services. And that's a long list of people. It took a large village to save this house. Ah, well, it takes that for almost any preservation effort, as you yes, and I both know. Yes. This room is focused primarily on shotgun houses, on how this one was saved, and on historic buildings. This second room is focused on Santa Monica and Ocean Park history. You're saying that Santa Monica and Ocean Park have history? Absolutely. Ah, <laughs> this, well, that's something you and I both know, but a lot of people don't realize what a rich history our only 125, 140-year-old town has. The city of Santa Monica was formed in 1875. And uh, I think many people who have taken our downtown walking tour have heard the story of how the lots were auctioned off and how quickly the city developed. Which, by the way, your head docent of the downtown tour, we did a Brock yes. and block with her last year. She's Fabulous. Yes, Kay is wonderful. Yes, Kay uh, Patterson. Yes, so in this room right now, we have a display on the concrete pier that predated the pier that we have today. Um, the ostrich farm that was located in Ocean Park. Can we bring the ostriches back? Uh, it would be difficult. For the grand um, opening. <laughs> have a couple of ostriches walking around in front of the Ocean Park uh, Library. And a couple of flappers, I think, would be wonderful. Oh, it would be great fun, but I don't think that's okay. in the works. We that's why have... I'm not allowed to plan the Conservancy events. We will have some great bluegrass music. Ah, okay, good. So you're going to have a classroom here. I understand that you had a great architect who helped redesign this house to make it something that was functional. Mario Fonda Bernardi is a longtime board member of the Conservancy, a planning commissioner in the city, and a member of the SMART group, which I'm a member of as well. And I understand he did this gratis? Uh, Mario donated his time. We had many wonderful donations. The initial use of this space, when it's opened up, mm -hmm. where you see the swinging wall, uh, will be for classes for adults. And 
It is a sweet. I might want to get one of these in my house. Yeah. <laughs> this would be great for community meetings. Yes. And Fantastic. We have a video display, a large video display that will go on this wall. And so we can uh, create a classroom for about 20 uh, okay. people with additional seating along on the wall. wall. Well, this is going to be a fantastic resource for decades to come in Santa Monica. You help advocate for preservation. Uh, you were avid supporters of the brand new historic Salem City Courtyard and Garden Apartment District that just got approved formally by the City Council. We I know that. We've also worked very hard to make sure that the policies of the city zoning, the preservation policies, and so on, encourage the preservation of our historic buildings and where necessary their adaptive reuse. I see Carol at more city meetings. <laughs> uh, literally, I will see Carol once a week at a meeting somewhere in the city where she's sitting and making sure she safeguards the preservation of our history. And I think that is a, a noble effort that generations of Santa Monica's to come, they'll see your work in our city. You know, it, it's so vital that everyone support the conservancy in Santa Monica and support preservation because, you know, the, the adaptive reuse, as you mentioned, this building is one of the, the foundations of, of something that I believe in strongly in the city. I would like you and I to be able to come back a hundred years from now and look down and see that we recognize buildings still in the city because that means we all succeeded. It also means that people who come to Santa Monica know what, where the city came from, right? Yeah. To that, see that history in its buildings. And that's important because that's what will separate us from other beach towns. The towns that preserve their history, those are the ones that tourists, those are the ones that visitors and workers value. That's where they want to work. That's where they want to visit because they, they come to a new city to learn about that history. So the Conservancy's offices are now here. Your desk will be in this building and the, the Preservation Resource Center will be open? It will be open to the public on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and also by appointment. Um, but the regular hours are from 11 to 2. Fantastic. I look forward to being at the opening, and I look forward to many returns to this building. Thank you for all the work you do. For Brock and your block, I'm Phil Brock.